Hey, what's up everyone? And welcome to my Road to Max Cape video. Road to Max Cape episode one. So right here I'm getting 73 farming and I am making a series for Road to Max Cape because I was looking through all the footage I had recorded and I was realizing that I would have to put this footage into like three different videos because rather than just focus on multiple goals, I kind of just do one thing sometimes, sometimes I do multiple things, and my, the videos on my channel are a little bit messy in that sense because I don't want to have to devote an entire video to just like getting one level in a skill. I'd rather get many levels in many skills and not have to make a bunch of different separate videos for those, especially with my upload frequency not being too hot. So I'm making a new series called Road to Max Cape, and all of these levels and the footage for these levels will go into those episodes and then i'll do like behind the scenes stuff um which i've also missed for this month <laughs> i think the last month as well but there's a lot of exciting things happening um i think i'm going to be putting out a video for the runescape 3 i haven't read all of the news for it yet but i'd like to delve into that um, but for now i got 73 farming and then here in a little bit I'm about to get 74 farming so basically I wanted to get 74 farming so that when I use the gardener pie I could um, I could plant the right seed to spawn the right jadinkos so that I could make farming potions and I finally made farming potions <clears throat> but right here you can see I'm about to get 74 farming there we go. So, yeah, that's pretty exciting. Um, let's see here. I got a bunch of herbal levels, and I was kind of ex experimenting with recording. Um, with the Xtori, you can pick the frame rate that you record at, and I think you can do that with a lot of other programs too, but I was recording at one frame a second while playing at normal, you know, 50 frames per second, so my performance wasn't at all... Um, at all hit <clears throat> but right here I get 70 was it 71 yeah 71 herb lore and basically what I did is I had <laughs> I, I hit 30 mil cash because I just spent an entire day killing um killing frost dragons but you can see here so I was just going for my goal is 85 herb lore so I can get make super anti-fire potions and then with that I can um I can get a chaotic mall and kill frost dragons even faster but yeah as you can see um i can just record it this is recording at one fps but if you play it back fast enough you don't see that it's like one fps because i'm playing it back at six thousand percent speed of normal the normal speed being one frame a second so it's pretty slow um so yeah <laughs> i didn't record i didn't record that wasn't like a 100 percent time lapse of 71 to 78 herb lore but right here i get 78 herb lore I was using the RuneScape wiki calculators to find out what was kind of like a good balance between speed and um, money per XP. So these were around like between 21 and 24 GP per XP. Um, these are magics or super magics, whatever they're called. And then I was making super defenses before that. But okay, so here I get, I kind of caught this a little late but I got 86th engineering. So I've been working on that a little bit. Um, I don't know if I noticed, but I got, if you noticed, but I got the fight kiln cape. I think I may have mentioned that in an earlier video. There's 86 defense. I had a friend of mine, and I think someone who watches the videos as well, Feral Pride, asked me to come do bandos with him. Or General Grardor, I think this is his name. And I've done it before with another friend and I have yet to see any drops from him. I think I have like over 100 kills now. Um, I think Feral Pride got a couple shard drops, sword shard drops. Uh, so that's cool, but we didn't see anything substantial. As you can see, just a lot of rune drops. I forgot to bring Alex, so I just have a bunch of rune items in my inventory. But that's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know what offhand I should be using. I have a Chaotic Rape here, but... I don't really have any offhand weapons, so I'm just using a Dragon Defender. And I bring a shield along so I can do exactly what you're about to see right here, which is 
rejuvenate. Rejuvenate is awesome. If there's one thing that the fight kiln taught me is that it's that uh, being able to sustain yourself without food is extreme is is so easy to do down in this game. You just gotta. It's all about. Um, it's all about playing with your adrenaline, really being able to manage your adrenaline well, which is kind of cool. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, let's see, 73 farming, 74 farming, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 78 herb lore. I think I might be at 79 now. I'm not even sure I didn't record that. Um, 86 dungeoneering, 86 defense, and some bandos, some general guard or action. Uh, so that, yeah. I've been playing RuneScape. I just haven't been making as many videos, but I really want to make more videos. So I'm going to keep them popping out. We'll, I'll see you next time for RuneScape 3. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later.